Here in London, we see one of the world's most iconic football venues, Wembley Stadium. And since 2007, it's welcomed the NFL to stage some American football contests as well. Well, some wintry football ahead of us as it's all teed up and ready. And we are underway in London. Ty Chandler to return. Oh, he's shown some burst on this return. Some good work on that return. Brock gets this up to the 33. So they're off fence out now to get this game started. It's first and ten. They'll send him over right. Starting the drive with a give to Jones. And he gets up for a gain of about four. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, that's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. Second and six coming up here. Jones wants more. And a massive hit at the end of that play. Oh, baby. But he hangs on through it. Still able to get that first down. Staying on the ground with Jones. And a couple of teammates combining there for the stop after just one yard. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Slot receiver headed left. Here we go, second and nine. Bails out of the pocket quick. And he takes it up and across midfield into Ravens territory. You know, Kate, over the years, I have heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. You got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35 yard line. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. Here's Darnold to throw. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he's brought down for a loss. Second and 12 behind the sticks. Forces that one and it's intercepted. Marcus Williams has it. And the Ravens get the football on the first turnover of the contest. Wow, what an exciting start to this game, Brock. Apologies to the former QB and you. It's not an opening drive touchdown, but an interception instead. Yeah, exciting for one side. That would be the defense. Demoralizing for the other side is an offense. First off, well, listen, it goes to the defense. And now it really sets the stage for what I love and what you love, Kate, in this game of adjustments, in the game of back and forth. Who's going to respond next? Here's Derrick Henry getting it on the ground. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Lamar off the play fake. Working across the field, complete. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. Here's first and 10 from the 34. 13, 13. Come on, come on. Yeah. 
We give to Henry on the inside handoff. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Going to the ground again on first. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. We've finished one quarter in what's still a scoreless game. Hopefully no shortage of excitement coming up in the second. More from this one right after this. Back at beginning of the second quarter, Ravens in possession. They have second and pretty long here. Another run for Henry. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Pickup of six, and now they've got third and seven. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know, and you may come back to, because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you'll really break the backs of a defense. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. From the gun, Jackson. That's caught for the first. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Out of the gun, Henry. And he's able to power this forward, but they stop him after two yards. Working quickly here. Lamar now from the gun. An all-around tough play for him. He took a shot on the release, and it definitely affected the throw. It's incomplete. Well, that's one you chalk up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last-second attempt to get rid of it. Now the Ravens are going to use the first of their timeouts. And they'll have two left to work with here in the first half. Wait, so after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Shotgun snap to Jackson. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. And the Vikings are stopped a little beyond the 10-yard line on the return. Well, how quickly things can change. They were looking so good just a couple of plays ago, and suddenly, not anymore. Red zone look comes up empty with that interception. I think the pressure got to him there, Kate. And I don't even mean all those pass rushers, although they were certainly coming too. I mean the yeah. pressure of being third down in the red zone. That's where you gotta slow yourself down as a quarterback and know you've got to simply protect the football. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Yes, Interception last drive doesn't deter them. They're going right back to the air. Down the middle, complete. At the 20. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Minnesota. The Vikings get the game's first points here in the second. That score was less about the throw, although it was good, partner, but it was more about getting it to somebody who knew exactly what to do with it. Well, Kate, it's a good thing the touchdown shows up on both their stat sheets, because sometimes, well, it's quarterback who delivers, and sometimes it's the effort after the catch that really makes the magic happen. That one right down the middle, and they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. The Vikings have it teed up, and play resumes with the kick. Return starts from the goal line. 
And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. Started a little slow, but we've arrived at the two-minute warning. It's the Ravens about set to begin their drive. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. The drive begins with Henry. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Clock's still running as the Ravens try hurrying everyone off. This is Henry on second. And he's brought down after a short game. Two yards on the pickup, and that leaves him with third down and three. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal game, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Gonna have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. And that'll bring up fourth and three. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Defense coming off that incompletion. Needs one more stop here on four. Oh, they're going for this. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Clock's still running as the Ravens try hurrying everyone off. Play action now with Jackson. And he finds the seam down the middle, complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a gain of 28. Ball at the 33 for first down. He's got Andrews. And he's brought down at the 17-yard line. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. So after the five yards are marched off, here's first and 15. Yeah, yeah. Running it after the penalty. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. Now we're going to have a timeout taken by Baltimore. It's second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Play action. Here's Jackson. Gets this one to Andrews. And he pushes this down to the 22-yard line. That's 16 on the pickup. And that's good for a Ravens first down. Play fake. Jackson. Oh, my. Oh, my. It's intercepted in the end zone. And the Vikings do not get the return all the way back. That's going to bring us to the end of our first half. That brings us to halftime. We'll get a break as our teams make their adjustments and then return with more of the NFL on EA Sports in just a little bit. Well, that first half, certainly an interesting one. Kate Scott, Brock Heward with you as we get back and see what the second half has in store for us. Two quarters to go from London Town, and here we go in our second half. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. No, we changed it. What are you? Henry gets it here to start the drive. 
And he gets absolutely popped to end that one. A dose of the hurry up offense here. They go play fake with Jackson. Gets this to Bateman. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Would have liked to have kept that big play, but the officials and penalties say no. And it's got to come back. Second and ten now. Connects with Bateman. And he's going to get this up close to the 40 before going out. You know, I'm really not sure if that was an intentionally brave play to challenge double coverage or just simply not seeing the two defenders. Either way, what a tremendous throw and catch that earns some momentum. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. Henry's going to try to pick it up. And he's going to be blocked down after reaching the 43. Offense in the hurry up here. On first and ten, it's Jackson. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Tough one to retain through that hit. So that brings up second down. You know, that was almost a nice chunk play before he was able to recover and provide the hit that dislodges the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays deep. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Offense up to the line fast. Hey, hey, report. 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 Now Jackson on third down. And he's off the mark there. Too far behind him to adjust. That brings up fourth down. So many coaches love third downs and they practice them so much, Kate. Why? Because they're the money down in the NFL. Whether it's a close game or already out of hand, coaches know got to execute and convert on these third downs. Offense still staying out after the incompletion. They're going to try on four. He's back to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's out of bounds very close to that marker, but it looked a tad short. Oh, and it is. That's a turnover on downs. Darnold looking to throw. As a man, Justin Jefferson. It's a 23-yard pickup on the play. And that's going to get the Vikings the first down. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. That's Jefferson. He's got it. And they're going to haul him down a step before the 30, right at the 31. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. Darnold. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Working quickly here. Here's second and five. And it's caught. And he's going to score a touchdown, Minnesota. The Vikings push their lead further to start the half. I should know this by now, Brock. I don't know if you're a Broadway guy, but there's a lot of names that belong on the playbill for this lead we've got here. But uh, but his name belongs on the marquee as he brings in his second touchdown grab. Yeah, a bunch of contributors all throughout this roster. No, not a Broadway guy. And with two <laughs> scores now, it's what, a two-score game? Yep. Easy to see he's been one of the key actors throughout. Appreciate the honesty. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead.
The Vikings have it teed up, and play resumes with the kick. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. They're out and set, first and 10. Now Jackson off the play action. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. Well, Kate, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception, but it was good enough and a good enough break to break on the ball, get a finger on it, and foresee incompletion. Trying down the middle with Henry. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. The dose of the hurry up offense here. Jackson now on third. Bateman holds it in. Jukes Wonderfit has room down the left sideline. And they will score. It's a Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens shave some off the deficit late in the quarter. I love plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just got to ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels, and he did just that. Yeah, beauty in simplicity, right? Yep. Now, when you run that fly route, you got to win right from the jump. Uh -huh. and you got to protect yourself from the sideline, too. Don't get pushed to the boundary. Give your quarterback room to throw it up, and you can find pay dirt. Now the Ravens are going to use the first of their timeouts. As that'll leave him with just two to use the rest of the way. So after thinking it over, they're lining up for two. Jackson's throwing for it. Harrison Smith with the INT. And the Vikings are stopped a little beyond the 10 yard line on the return. All right, that lead cut down to eight after that score, and the kick is away. Fields the hard squib kick. And this drive will start inside the 25. Drive starts out with a first and 10. Now we'll give up the middle to Jones. And he'll only find one yard up the gut, second down. So we're through three here. It's Vikings ball, working to carry this lead through to the end. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Now Darnold. Ravens swoop it in, and they bring him down. And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. We get so stuck, Kate, on decision-making, being the ball in the hands, and where's he throwing it? The ball in the hands in the passing game, and what kind of decision is he going to make? When in reality, in this game, in the fourth quarter, decision-making is also knowing when to salvage a play, salvage that real estate that's so important to try to play a little add-on and make this a two-score game. That's sack. It's not going to help in that decision at all. And he's going to be blocked down at the 42. Offense in the hurry up here. First and 10. Here's Jones. And he finds his way up to the 47 before he stopped. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, he could be a pro bowler. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Here goes that. Here goes that. From the 47. 
Short pass caught by his tight end. And they're gonna haul him down just shy of the 40. Offense up to the line fast. We've reached the two-minute warning from London. Vikings up by eight. First and ten from the 41. Straight ahead they go with Jones. And he's brought down, but there's some laundry on the field. Pretty easy call to make. He lined up offsides, and now he gets a talking to from his coach. Go set. The Vikings call a timeout. It'll be their first. And they can take a moment to try to build more momentum after getting the first. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. Fullback dive up the gut. And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. Now we're going to have a timeout taken by Baltimore. It's second. And they'll have just one left to burn now. Second and three now. Playing favorites with the fullback here. And what a hit there. Allen, she pays the price for moving the chains that time. Keeping that pace going as the clock continues to run. Going with Jones on the ground. What a hit! He gets flattened to the ground. Timeout taken by the Ravens. That is their final one. Lining up to take an E on second down. And they'll take an E. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side. 